Tennessee's largest school district is one step closer to choosing its next superintendent. Thank you for joining us. I'm Joy Redmond. And I'm Joe Birch. The search process has dragged on for more than one year after the former superintendent, Dr. Joris Ray, resigned last August. The board also completely restarted their search with new candidates and finalists before the 2023-2024 school year. Action News 5's Bria Bolden shares the top three candidates announced tonight. Bria. Well, guys, this is the first time in at least a decade that the person who will be the next superintendent will be from outside of MSCS and Memphis. And then there were three. Madam Chair, you have nine votes in the affirmative. Memphis Shelby County School Board members voting unanimously on three finalists to be the next superintendent. We want somebody that's going to help protect the district. You already are in level five. We want the same progress. The finalists are Yolanda Brown, the Chief Academic Officer for Atlanta Public Schools, Dr. Marie N. Fagans, Chief of High Schools and Leadership Development with Detroit Public Schools, and Dr. Cheryl Proctor, Deputy Superintendent for Portland Public Schools. The district's next leader will be from outside of Memphis for the first time in years. We'll have community engagement where we want to get them out in the community. If they're going to be a part of this community, they need to know the community. Board and community members agree the next superintendent must know Memphis and the district's background. We would definitely be doing our research on those top three candidates to see who we would like to have, and we will be uh, very vocal in that process, invited or uninvited. Danette Stokes, president of the United Education Association, one of the two teacher unions at MSCS wants the next leader to be union friendly. Stokes was critical of district leaders at Tuesday's meeting, saying more teachers need to be involved in the process. As an educator in this school system, we should have a voice as who the next superintendent is. And our voice should be heard and it should be loud and clear. And the things that we want in the next superintendent should be considered. So none of the three finalists have previously served as superintendents during their careers, but each holds a high ranking position in their current school districts. The finalists will come back to Memphis in the new year for more interviews with the board and with the community. Now the new superintendent is expected to be in place by July 1st, 2024. In studio tonight, Bria Bolden, Action News 5.